All right, so uh, where I last left off, we were doing this quest, and I found myself uh, unable to complete it because uh, I'm too wimpy at the moment. So we will uh, just go ahead and fast travel and look around for uh, chests. So uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, it's probably the uh, like. Let me let me uh, check my list here. This will probably be the fourth upload of Phoenix Rising. Uh, after I do some uh, cutting. But, uh, gotta say, uh, uh pen and uh, pen. So, what, what we'll be doing is we're pretty much just gonna go around looking for, uh, things to collect and explore because I have a feeling this is going to be like Breath of the Wild where I can spend an ample amount of time exploring and still not accomplish much. across the bridge here. And we need to head up there. Because we need Ambrosia. Uh, as well as a ton of other things. So basically, we're on a quest to improve ourselves because uh, this game pretty much quickly proves that, oh hey, uh, if you aren't going out of your way to level up and do everything, you're, get, you're gonna get screwed. Unfortunately, in order to dodge, you have to, uh... Yes. 
Like, I know there's a chest up there. I think this might be one of those nighttime only chests. Or not. There we go. Chess. Main of Pride. Let's see what the Main of Pride does. Unar unharmed enemies. Take a look at the map here. Anything else over here? Well, we completed that. We already did the Leer challenges. We did the One-Eyed Giant challenge. Um, well, there's a chest over there, so we can... Uh, fast travel over there and get that. But then we're gonna have to move on and explore other places. need a ton of those if I want to complete the Odysseus challenge because the Odysseus challenge is pretty much uh, a challenge where you have to uh, have a ton of stamina and you got to manipulate the Apollo arrow through uh, all the uh, shots with me just in case ha! not sure what we use the pot for but we'll take it all right so there's not really much I can do so what we'll do is we, we will travel back up to Olympus and uh, Make sure all my custom pins are eliminated. 
Um. Let's see, can we upgrade our health here? No, I need three more Ambrosia weapons. Defeating monsters in general is something we're going to have to focus on. Because uh, that's where you get the uh, blue gems from. And we need blue gems. One more to upgrade my stamina. So, let's see, what do we got? That's actually really good, and we, we kind of need that. So let's see here. Consumes less stamina. Yeah, we need that too. Uh, and we can get one more thing. I'm thinking we go with the, uh... Let's go with the headshot perk. <laughs> Having the ability to do extra things is something that's gonna be useful. Appearance changing is not something I really need. Let's see.
Alright, so where do we want to go first? Um, over here, we're... Alright, we'll head to uh, Aphrodite's statue first. hunting. There's lots of uh, boars around here. Disappear if you get too close. Let's uh, avoid the big bears that I know I can't take on. I can just jump in here and do whatever challenge I need to do. I guess that's uh, my best plan of action right now. Puzzle solving is the game. Atlas is burden. Uh, level 2 difficulty. For this one, we have to uh, drag it to me. Oh, I see.
easier just for me to push this around and then drag it. This is one of those puzzles where we have to just go back and forth. I can, I can do that. We can handle that quite easily. The question is, is, did I somehow screw this up, or am I just being dumb? No, actually. Uh, I triggered the pressure plate up here. that down there and this one being the uh, lighter of the uh here. need to bring this over here. And this weighted ball, uh, I am under the impression that it cannot cover distances. So I think we're going to need some sort of lateral thinking. I think this is some sort of lateral thinking problem. I'm not sure. It's been a while since I covered that sort of thing.
save it. Come on, game. Nope. Nope, no, no. Ah, uh, God. Dick. Ah. Uh. We have to go all the way back to the beginning because of that. Crap. Oh well. Happens. I mean, like, that's the thing is, I, I fully came into this knowing that we, this is gonna be one of those kind of tests. Now we just have to maneuver everything all over again. Now for this final one, we're gonna have to do some uh, maneuvering here. Now, while I could do that, uh, I wanna get the reward over there because there's a big red reward over there. There we go. We got the chest. And I guess that's what matters. Hubris of the One-Eyed Giant. Let's take a look at it. Thirty plus defense from two unique uh, enemies. Yeah, unfortunately, that's not too useful right now. Leave that there. And now we need to move this back over here. I know. Complicated, right? Get the, we got the reward as well. 
So I think that's uh, makes it all the more uh, worth it. I mean, this. Although on the subject of this game, this game does sort of feel like Genshin Impact at times, only not as well thought out. So technically, uh, this game is a worse version of Genshin Impact. Only uh, you're not limited by like stamina. Well, Genshin stamina system. There we go. Okay, now we just hop across and we'll be good. have another upgrade to our stamina. Awesome. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, it might just be easier just to uh, level up our stamina. my brother do? Legiron would probably take on Typhon single-handedly, like when he bested the entire Spartan fleet. <sighs> Who am I kidding? I'm in way over my head. Right, let's keep uh, wandering what? around. Let's uh, grab these things over here. Oh, that's where I need to head. Like honestly, I, I'm 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 realizing I'm running exactly like a Fortnite character in this game. Like doing the whole like uh, lanky Fortnite run. Goddess of Love. Uh, 
Alright, craft max. These are Olympian figs. All right, so now we need to uh, make it to the top of the mountain here. Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh well, we'll collect all the Olympian figs we can al along the way. So, I'm, I'm gonna take a Breath of the Wild approach to things. Uh, we'll avoid combat for now, but as soon as we get better weapons, you better believe we, we're gonna be farming the low-level enemies. Combat in this game is just too difficult for me. So yeah, uh, jump leaping in this game uses less stamina. Than actual climbing. So, upgrading that straight off the bat was probably a good idea at this point. Because I'm finding the, the, like, utility stuff is far more useful than the actual combat stuff at the moment. Now, let's uh, grab this. We need these. Those and the pomegranates we actually need. Oh, hold on a moment. Let's uh mark that. Chests. Okay, so the gold things are chests. Big Lear. Navigation challenge. Oh, oh, so I can just look in random directions and occasionally find important things. Yeah, uh, I, I know that's ridiculous, but you know what? I'll accept it at this point. This game has its flaws, and uh, I have accepted them. Phoenix stumbled upon a winged creature, easily mistaken for a fairy. However, it's true, I think. As Phoenix freed the small creature imprisoned on the isle, she let out a cry, which meant, great hero, I am but a piece of Nike, the goddess of victory. Please free the others so I may return to my full glory. They won't win without Nike. She's like a glove or a, a thing you wear that protects you while running. A helmet. So, what is it? Phoenix would need to free it to find out. Yeah, but you can tell me now. Can you please respect my narrative pacing? <laughs> Zeus doesn't respect narrative pacing, I can believe it. Out. Ah, the Valley of Eternal Spring. Its highlights include a massive tree that reaches up to the heavens. 
The Hall of the Gods. Eros's palace. Oh, I'm glad he finally got his happy ending. And a palace belonging to the goddess of beauty herself. Of course, Aphrodite would claim the prime real estate with the best view. As long as she's safe from crying eyes, I'm happy. From such great heights, a fluttering of birds, feeding from the most beautiful apple tree, caught Phoenix's eye. Phoenix was about as high as I was when I thought marrying Aphrodite off to Hephaestus would stop the other gods from fighting over her. Yes, that view from Mount Olympus is something else. I haven't seen it in years. You're not getting that high again, so stop asking! Well, that's a lot of uh, real estate. Let's uh, keep an eye out for uh, any sort of uh, markers. I'm more interested in the Abyss challenges at this point. Uh, Demeter, if I had to guess. You wouldn't happen to be Aphrodite? Why, yes, I am. Pleasure to humbly make your acquaintance. Phoenix, I'm sorry, I'm just such a fan. You're responsible for some of the most epic love stories of all time. I have to admit, I wasn't expecting a tree, but even in your, uh, arboreal state, you're beautiful. Oh, that's sweet of you to say, but the only mirror I gaze into these days reflects the happy smiles of the creatures I help. Oh, if only I could travel to those most in need. But, alas, my roots keep me anchored here. So that's why Typhon did this to you. So you can't use your beauty to move ships, or inspire bravery in battle against him. Me? Start a war? I don't know where you get such outlandish ideas. True beauty is found in acts of service. True love is the giving of yourself to others. The name Aphrodite should have stood for those things all along. She did not just say that. I am reformed now. My own essence locked away in a vault wedged under my largest root, <laughs> which is for the best. 
Maybe I could get that essence back for you. I'm going to need allies to go up against Typhon. We have the hungry to think about. You said you need to free yourself from your roots. To feed the hungry, of course. Well, my roots were as a pretty bad farmer. So I know how to hurt plants. Salt. It shrivels them up. Oh, would that work? But of course, my roots are not ordinary. They're primal. Powerful. Interesting. So we'll need, uh, mythical salt water? Oh. Oh! This is in the prophecy! A pearl in rough seas! You were a pearl born from rough seas! The salty sea foam from your birth! Yes! What an inspired proposal! But I couldn't possibly trouble a stranger to recreate the conditions of my birth. What if a stranger asked to be troubled? If a stranger asked to be troubled, then... I suppose I wouldn't really be troubling them at all. Here's how to conjure Sifum from my birthplace. I already know all about this. Mom loved this story. Grandpappy Uranus threw a pearl into the sea. The sea churned into foam, and Aphrodite rose up out of it. A pearl? Grandpappy? I'm not sure that's how it- That's definitely the story. Okay. Zeus was blatantly lied I'm to by sure his mother. I'm sure that's how it went, uh, down. Got it. Knock a pearl into the ocean really hard. That sounds simple enough. Oh, thank you, Phoenix. I'll be serving fresh apples to the less fortunate across the Golden Isle in no time. Suddenly, the majestic form of a wild creature caught Phoenix's eye. If Phoenix wanted to tame the beautiful beast, the mortal would have to befriend it first. Why are you... Alright, so let's, uh, focus on the, uh... task at hand here. Okay, is this where we are? And this is where I need to be. Because I don't want to scare it away. What are you on? Because can I have some? Well... Okay, so I figured out how to manipulate the map. Isn't that what you were aiming for when you married her off to Hephaestus against her will? Hey now, it wasn't. I mean, she knew I was doing it for her own good.
face there. Yeah, okay, so there's no way for me to actually do this challenge at the moment. So, um... We'll just have to untrack that, and... Oh, X to... Oh, press down on L to cycle the icons. Okay, that's, uh, good to know. Alright. I guess we'll end, uh, the YouTube video off here. And, uh... Then we'll move on to the fifth one. <laughs>